Then we have our single eyeshadows. I don't have a whole lot in this category and those two are the two I'm trying to use up in 2016. So as you can see, I'm really close to finishing the MAC one and then this um, cream brulee shade from All May, I haven't even started using it yet. And then I kept the rest of the single eyeshadows in this little <laughs> tray thingy that I got. I just thought it was kind of cute. Anyways, I have two from Ravelon. So one is satin, one is matte. The matte one is called Vintage Lace. And then the satin one is Polished Bronze. And I have one from Sephora. This one is my newest edition. I'm not too sure about this shade. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. And then I have a um, Wet n Wild Nutty, I think. Yeah, right there. And then I have one from Elizabeth Mott. This is Pop Ghost Shadow. Uh, it's in the shade Champagne. It's really pretty. Then I have two from Pixie. So those two look very similar in the pan, but actually they swatch really differently and then they do look quite different on the eyes. And I have one cargo eyeshadow. It's a taupey shimmery shade. It's in the shade Yukon. And then the last one is from NYX. This is uh, the shade Sahara. It's just a light champagne kind of shade. I do really like it. Wow, this thing is quite dirty. I didn't even realize it. I have to wipe this down now. Those are my depotted eyeshadows. So once I depotted my eyeshadows, I count all of them as single eyeshadows. So for example, right here, instead of looking at them as three and a half duels, I will look at it as seven single eyeshadows, if that makes any sense. So those ones are from L'Oreal. I think, I think it's called Hip. So they were clearanced a while back and I picked up pretty much every single shade from them. And then those are the only seven shades I'm keeping right now. And then those are from some of the Wet n Wild trails, as you can see. Those two shades are from a clinic trail. I have used up one shade and I have two left. And this one is a little rainbow quad. I have another Z palette full of those deposit eyeshadows. So those are more of the higher end kind of shades. So I have five right here that are my Inglot eyeshadows. And then this one is actually the Book of Shadows 4 from Urban Decay. And then this one is a MAC eyeshadow. Um, and this one I believe comes from Benefit. Um, those two are also from Benefit. Next, I have my smaller eyeshadow palettes. So those are anything that's from a dual to five shades. So as you can see, those are all of my Wet n Wild ones. So I have uh, seven trails. And I have this one from Fergie. I really love this orangey red shade. That's a reason why I kept this palette. And I have a Quint from Wet n Wild as well. This one I'm not too impressed with, but I do like those shades, so I kept it. Here are some more. So I have one from the Maybelline Eye Studio. I really like this line, but this quad is just not the best quality. I think the shades kind of smudge together, I think. Once they're put on the eyes, they just became like one big mush. So I'm not too impressed with this quad. I might declutter it at a point. Then I have three from L'Oreal. I really like those ones, but they're not the most consistent with their quality. So I have decluttered a few already. I think those three do have pretty good color payoffs. And I have a little quad from Clinique. This one I really like. So those shades are very lovely. Yeah, I got it from a gift with purchase, I think. Then I have this baked one from Laura Geller. It's very pretty. I think I might even use that as a face highlighter. There's no way I can ever go through that as a um, just eyeshadow. Those two are my very basic palettes, I think you would call it. The first one is from Physician's Formula. It's their matte eyeshadows, and I've already hit pan on this guy. It's a very good companion palette. Same thing with this Essence Quad. I think it's just a very nice companion palette. I have one quad left from Raymo. I do really like this line. I had a lot of them before, but then I realized some of the shades are just dupes. This is the only one I have left right now. I really like this one. 
I have three more that are in this small palette category. So the first one is this All Made Quad again. So as you've already seen before, this one is a primer. And I have three shades right here I'm trying to use up in 2016. I did already finish up one shade, so I only have two more to go. Those two are both new, so they're both Lorac Pro. This one, I have the shades Beige, Light Brown, and Espresso. This one, the red one, has a shade Ivory, Gold, and Cocoa. So I think those two are really nice for traveling. So I have two from e.l.f. Those are the Eye Enhancing Eyeshadow. So they're not the most consistent with their shades. Some of them are really nice and pigmented. Some of them are really dry. So I'm sure I wouldn't be able to use all the shades from those two palettes, but I do want to use some of them. And I have this gift with purchase from Lancome. It is brand new, I haven't used it yet, but it has very pretty shades. I think I would love to give that a try. Then again, we have this Josie Moran palette. So we have five eyeshadow shades in here. They're very colorful and lovely. I don't usually go for those shades, but I think it's nice to have them. Then we have this Laura Mercier um, quad or palette again. So it has four eyeshadow shades. I love those four eyeshadow shades. You can actually take them out of the thing if you want to you know, switch out those products or maybe buy the refill pans. All right, now let's move on to our bigger eyeshadow palettes. So the first one right here is from NYX. This is Loving Paris. I love this one. It's a nine pan palette and every single shade is beautiful. I love it. We have this Lorac Stylist palette. I got it from Holt Look, I think, all randomly. And I do like all the shades in here. They do surprise me. When you look at it, you don't think they're anything special, but they show up so nicely on the eyes. I have this one from e.l.f. So again, this is the Beauty and Beast line. So I just was attracted to some of the more colorful shades right here. Actually, the quality isn't too bad at all. So I might end up using that sometime soon since summer is here. Uh, when I want some pop of colors right here, I think they're really nice. I have two 8-pan palettes from Wet n Wild. This one is Comfort Zone, this one is Petal Pusher. This one is a limited edition from Wet n Wild. It's Nude Awakening. Um, I spent quite a bit of time trying to hunt this palette down. I think the quality isn't as good as the other 8-pan palettes, but it's still alright. And they're more on the nude side, so I wanted to keep it. And you see that guy, it's putting this palette in the wrong direction. I just thought that was kind of funny. And those four palettes, I believe everyone knows about them. So I have Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I have Urban Decay Naked. I have um, the Balm Nude Tude. And I have Lorac Pro. And I also have this Bon Jovi palette. It has all those pretty uh, eyeshadow shades. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Then I have three more palettes. This one is from Lorac. I just got this recently. It's Love, Lost, and Lace. I haven't used it yet, so it has some very interesting colors, and I think it will be nice to travel with because it does have some neutral and a couple deeper shades, and you could even use that as a highlight, face highlight. This one I think is kind of random. It's a Sephora's um, brand palette. It is actually new. I haven't used it yet. I just got it on clearance from their website. I thought those shades look pretty nice. Then lastly, I have a Coastal Scents. Those are customized palettes, so I picked those shades myself. And I do think they are somewhat different and unique. Uh, I try to pick shades that are not like in every palette, so I have those really warm-toned brown and pumpkin-ish kind of shades. I quite like it, so I think I'll keep it around for a little longer. All right, now I just have all of my lip products left. So let's start with my liquid lipsticks. I had four at the beginning of the year, and right now I have six. So those two are the newest addition to my collection. They're both from Revlon. They're brand new, I haven't used them yet. And then those two are from Raymol. They're the show offline. I do really like them. I have one Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick, and I have one from L'Oreal. So I have 13 Jumbo Lip Pencils total, 
and I had 12 at the beginning of the year. The only addition I have here is actually really funny. This is from Tarte. It says it's a jumbo lip pencil, but really um, because I got a sample size, it's more like a lip liner for me. But I just put it in this category. Those three are from Revlon. They're the Balm Stains. I'm trying to finish the first one right here. It is in the color Honey. And then I have two brand new ones. I haven't even opened them yet. This one is from Neutrogena. It's the Moisture Smooth Color Stick. And I have one from Burt's Bees. And the next I have one from Sally Hansen. It's their Color Fast Jumbo Lip Color. I think it's quite nice. It's kind of a brownie nude shade. I do really like it. It's moisturizing. And then I have five from L'Oreal. This is their Glossy Balm. So I got all of them on clearance for really cheap, probably like a dollar a piece. So I just got every color that I can get my hands on in the entire line. And I ended up keeping those five. And then lastly, I have this one um, Tarte Lip Surgeon in the color Sweet. I'm also trying to pan this one right now. Next up are my lipsticks. So this one is probably really bad because I had 37 regular lipsticks at the beginning of the year and right now I have 48 total. So that's no good, but let me show you what I have now. So first I have three from this uh, L'Oreal line. It's their Le Lac or Le Mat. Then I recently got this guy from Pixie. It's a sample size lipstick and it's ruined a little bit on top as you can see. Um, so I don't know how long that's gonna last. I have two Revlon lip butters left. I am currently panning this one. It's in the color Sorbet. I'm hoping to finish this by the end of 2016. I have two NARS pencils. One is Rikugian, the other one is Corella. I got them both from my birthday last year as a free birthday gift. And then I have one new one from Burt's Bees. I just got this, I think, last month. I have a sample size from Marc Jacobs. This is um, birthday gift of this year. And then also I have this sample size from Bite. It's in the color Kimchi. It's a bright fuchsia color. It's quite intense, but luckily it's really small. I have this one from Cargo. I like this shade. It's kind of on the yellowish brown nude uh, side. It's quite unique, I would say. And then I have one from Fergie. This one is in the color VI Pink. It's a cool tone pink. I don't usually go for those kind of shades, but it's nice to have one. And then I have this Kate Moss uh, from Raymol. It's in the color 101. It's a pinky nude. I really like it. I have one from L'Oreal. This is in the color Pink Cashmere. It's a little sheer, even though it looks like it's intense. Uh, cool tone pink, but because it's sheer, it's much easier to wear. And then I have the last one here is from Raymol. It's in the old packaging, as you can see, and I have it in the color Rose Blush. I don't really like the scent of it, so I'm not sure if I will keep this much longer. Then I have a crazy amount of Wet n Wild lipsticks and Revlon lipsticks. So as you can see right here, I have two that are still sealed. And then I have six I'm currently using. I do really like this line. They're really cheap and they are really pigmented. And right here for the Revlon ones, I have three that I'm using and six are still sealed. So I'm hoping I probably would um, pass on most of them to my mom when she comes over in two weeks now. So hopefully the number in my lipsticks will change quite a bit after she visits. I think this is my last batch of lipsticks. So the first one here is the Lancome one. I got it from a gift with purchase. I usually don't keep them just because the shades usually don't work out for me. But this one is kind of a rosy pink and it has a little bit of a blue sheen. So I think it's really nice. And then I have three from Bobbi Brown. I just got them in April. I hauled them in my birthday haul. And then I have this one from Estee Lauder. It's really lovely. Those two are my only two MAC lipsticks. I do have two more, but I haven't hauled them yet. So um, I should say I have four MAC lipsticks now. And then I have two from YSL. I did find four more lipsticks actually. So the first three are from Maybelline and I have them in the shade Blushing Bud, Plum Shine, and Pink Freeze. So I do really like those three. And then the last one here is from CoverGirl. 
it is in the color the light last i have all my lip glosses so i had 28 at the beginning of the year and i still have 28 right now let's first go through the ones that are in the squeezy tubes i only have five of them so three are from estee lauder those are the color rich line and i do like all of them i think especially this guy it looks quite intense and dark but on the lips it just gives a very pretty raspberry kind of um red shade but leaning raspberry so it's quite unique i do really like that one here are some more lip glosses so i have one from laurie mercier it's in the color shrub it's just a nude color it doesn't have much color payoff which sometimes is really nice and i have one from cargo this is a baby pink shade i have two from lorac those two are both new to my collection i haven't really used them yet and I have two color elixir from Maybelline and I have a sample size from Lancome this is their lip lover I do really like this guy and it's only a sample size so maybe I would finish this sometime soon and then I have Turkish Delight from NARS I have to use this soon because I've had it for quite a while I think it might change on me soon and then I have a sample size from Mali, and then I have a lip gloss from the Simpson line from MAC, and I have a Pro Long Wear lip gloss in Infinitely Likeable. I'm currently panning this one. And then I have the last lip gloss from the Revlon line. This is in the color Rare Coral. I'm currently panning this one as well. And then I have two really old Maybelline lip glosses. I got them from Big Lots, but I know they have discontinued this line a long time ago, but I just really love those two shades, and I think they haven't gone bad. They smell just fine, they work just fine, but I would like to use them up soon. This is the last batch of my lip glosses. So I have one from NYX Mega Shine line. This is in the color beige. I have one from Maybelline. This is their newer packaging of the lip glosses. I do really like this one. It's kind of a purple-ish. Um, pink shade and it looks really pretty in the fall, but I haven't used it too much though Then I have two NYX extreme shine lip cream I probably should have put them in the liquid lipstick category and then I have two soft matte lip cream Also, they're kind of like liquid lipsticks. I'll probably do that <laughs> Anyways, I have two all May ones I have recently decluttered too just because the color has changed, the smell has changed. So I'm a little bit concerned about those two um, because they're a little darker. So especially this one, I probably would try to use it this fall and just get some use out of it. Then lastly, I just have two NYX butter glosses. I have six lip balms in my collection right now. I had seven last year. So I have this Nivea lip butter. I do use it somewhere you know here and there but um, I haven't used it too much I think it's probably gonna last me very long and then this one is a new addition it's from bite it looks like it has a color but really it's just a balm and then I have two L'Oreal color rich balms they are both very pretty I am trying to pan the this purple shade it's uh, legally wriggle the color isn't too obvious on the lips but it's quite nice and I have two Maybelline baby lips. I'm trying to pan this coral shade right now. Okay, so we have five lip liners and that hasn't changed since the beginning of the year. So I have three of them that are from NYX. So I have a nude shade, a hot pink, and a red. I'm trying to pan this nude pink now. So as you can see, I have used it a little bit. And I have one, I think this one is L'Oreal Infallible. This is a automatic pencil. It's kind of the nudie pink um, color too. And then this one, I got it from some of the boxes, I think. It's a Starlux one. It's a pinky nude as well. So lip liners are kind of harder for me just because I don't use them at all. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to pan that one and I don't think I will ever buy lip liners. So I am really glad you watched all the way through until this point. As I mentioned earlier at the beginning, I had a couple products that I forgot to include in the pictures. So there are two depotted eyeshadows I forgot to put in. One is this Inkblot shade. This one specifically is in the shade 344. There's another depotted eyeshadow. I am almost done with it and this is in my project tin pan right now as you can see i only have like 
that little bit left. So this is um, from Revlon. It's a matte single eyeshadow in the color Peach Sorbet. And of course, I forgot to mention the eye palette I am currently panning for 2016. So it's just my Pop Beauty Bare Texture Palette. So that's it. That's all the products I forgot to mention. And let me know how you guys are doing with your inventory in general. I think I did not so great because I did generally went down in most of the categories by like a couple products. But then as you can see, my lip products jumped up high by quite a bit. So that kind of canceled it out. Um, I'm not too happy with that. <laughs> I think for the next half of the year, I probably would definitely put myself on a more strict low buy and hopefully I can go down in size of my inventory a lot more. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.